back behind me at Ferguson. Here's an old ruined house site. A very old concrete and stone. Must have brought the stones in from around the area. Place of worship in Tarkula and the old pub. Little Gina Hotel they call it. It closed down last August for refurbishment. They must have had a stock of red paint with this ring glam at home. 50 cents for local calls out here even. We had a stock no, of red we're paint. very hot. We're at Tarkula. Okay. Yeah, you have to write it down, look it up. It's past yeah. um, up well, the highway to Glendown by and turn left to King Gurnia, and then further west there. to Tarkula. Know, we're, we're going across the um, railway line. Yeah. Yeah, how's everything? That's good. <laughs> Stop for lunch hour, very windy and 30 degrees at Tarkata. Well, the train comes in from there, the GAN and the, the Trans Railway. Goes out first that way. All the old mobile fuel dockers from the 90s. The floor's covered in them. Yeah, even, post it, even post your letters there. You can buy the tickets at the ticket window over there. Well, behind Park Door, there's an old mine. There's lots of uh, old buildings. There's the old mining building office. Over there where Anthony is, and there's old uh, corrugated iron loos blowing away buildings. Looks like something from the Yellow Brick Road about to take off in the next storm. Very mysterious machinery around here. We're going to have an ongoing restoration project here where the, looks like they pumped up liquid tailings, dumped it all there, and the little remedial works didn't work out there. A hot dry wind. Well, I think the whole lot's going to fall down any day. Another little mining town hits the dust. Well, they put some money into the place, didn't they? 
It's unusual to, well, I don't know. It'd be unusual to see a wave bridge in a place like this, but maybe they were. I don't think they had any, I don't know, they didn't see any sign of crushing works up there, so they'd probably be, they'd probably taken that machinery while there was a hoist for the uh, shaft, and it was still there. Yeah, just near this mine, you'll we'll see it next time you drive, go across on the train. That's the northern line, the GAN goes big swing and arc up to north. We're looking east here now. And the other line here, this is the trans line. We're going to follow this now to the west. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't rain on us. The chicks were really quite, well, they were running along. I mean, they might probably frighten them a bit, but they were falling over each other. It was quite amusing. <laughs> They're actually quite big chicks. Yes, they are. Mm. Oh, um, I can see them trying to get through the fence. They might get a bit. Oh, there's three through the fence now. Not much brighter than the sheep. That's the so-called vermin-proof fence, just at the end of the Googs track. And just pop down to the railway line, which is just down there, a little bit. Just a kilometre down the track, going west from the Googs track. Our first real wild patch of uh, Sturt's Desert Pea. There's a lot all the way along there, they haven't flowered yet. Uh, why bring rocks? And Daisy Bates camp for a little bit. And they came right down behind the bushes to get some shelter from the wind last night. And the wind sprung up again now. Old Bedford Dude or some description that Daisy Bates might, might have used, ha uh ha. -huh. And here's a more recent dark channel. And we're just near the mobile phone tower in the distance, which is amazing. And split and blasted tons of rock. It's uh, nearly 11. My watch still says 10.30. We've been up since it's 10 past 7. camp spot just down there and it exploded these rocks off here spotting at Windbring Rocks.
closed at all times. waiting for a train to come turn the automatic tracks they're all done remotely now by radio control in that station in that box and the arrow turns and the track closes up there the left hand one will close up and send the train sideways into where I am pins and nails Sleepers on closer examination are, are damaged, like a derailment on these curves. Yeah, the old uh, damaged rolling stock. Might have been a wash away. There's a worn flange that recently got a greaser up here. 